Morning guys, it is Thursday, February the 1st, and you know what that means, time for another weigh-in. Uh, but before we get to that, let's just talk about a tough realization that I had, like over this past month. Uh, so, in addition to my official weigh-ins that I have once every month, I do, I'm sure what everyone else does, is, you know, step on the scale unofficially here and there, just to, you know, track my progress to see what's it looking like if I need to make any adjustments. And honestly, over this month, I have not lost anything. If you watch my latest meal prep video, which you can find right there, you'll remember that even as of this past Sunday, like I was literally at the exact same weight. I was ahead 178.4 and things were looking bad for this weigh-in. Uh, and so, I mean, at least the good thing was I knew I wasn't gonna gain. Like I knew I wasn't gonna gain weight, but I just knew that there wasn't gonna be some miraculous or substantial, you know, weight loss this month. And so I really had to think like, what's going on? Why am I not losing any more weight? What is happening? And I realized I need to eat less food. I've lost 50 pounds and I've literally not changed my macros once. I have not changed the amount of food that I have been eating one time. Like I might not track here and there, but it's it's still around the same amount of calories. And I'm just not burning that many calories anymore because I don't weigh as much as I used to. So I realized I'm gonna have to sit down and I'm gonna have to recalculate my macros. And from here on out, I'm gonna have to start eating less food. Now, that doesn't mean of course like starving myself or anything. Generally, I was around 1,500 calories and whatever those macros shake out to. Uh, but I think I'm gonna cut down to like 1,300 and continue to step down uh, to go, go on a little cut. Like, my body's like, hello, we know what's going on already. We're gonna keep you here. And I'm like, no, 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 not today. We still have progress to make. So if I want my body to change, what I eat has to change and that makes me sad because I love food, <laughs> but I, it's science. It's literally science. So over the month of February, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to recalculate and I am going to just eat less. I've been working out really well, so that's not even the issue. I really think I need to focus more on my diet. I've been doing well with the carbs, you know, not cheating up to 20. You know, I've been keeping it fairly low carb. I just think I'm just eating too much food. So what effect did that have on my way in? So let's see. All right, last month I was 178.4 and today I was 177.2. So that's a whopping 1.2 pound weight loss for the month of January and you know, I know you're like, oh, at least you lost something, that's awesome. And it is awesome. <sighs> but just coming off of 15 pounds in December, like 1.2 is like not even 10% of that. And I'm just like, ah, oh, but that's okay. Honestly, I'm okay with that because I had three cheat days this month. Two of them were at the very beginning of the month, but one of them was just last week. So. The fact that I still came down 1.2 pounds, I'll take it. And also that's another thing, I, I can't with these cheat dates. I'm not at my goal. So I can't just randomly get lazy and be like, oh, extra macadamia nuts here, or oh, I'll just sprinkle some extra chocolate chips there. Like I'm not there yet. It all counts. I'm saying that more for myself than you guys. But that's where we are, 177.2. Not disappointed, underwhelmed, sure, you know? Uh, but that just means I have to work harder, I have to train harder, I have to eat smarter, and continue to see the progress that I know is imminent. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you like it and wanna see more like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. Also, ding that notification bell so you get notified every time I put up a new weigh-in, a new meal prep, or maybe a recipe here and there. Follow me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto.
Thanks for watching and I'll see you on March 1st and we'll be better.